Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another DIY video for you and I'm super excited about this one. It's one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for the first DIY, you need a four by six picture frame that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. Mine is from Walmart because I had it laying around my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, taking out the things that are inside. Now we're going to go ahead and take some pages from a book that I had left over. Uh, you want to pick a page that's full. Just rip that out. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some vinyl to the sheet of paper that I cut out with my machine. If you don't have any vinyl, I do sell it, so I'll link my Instagram in the description box below if you'd like to purchase them. Or you can use your printer to print out the image you want. Okay, now here I'm just going to make sure that the paper fits into the frame. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess. Okay, now this next step, please use caution when doing it. I decided to do this at the last minute. Uh, so all I'm doing here is taking a lighter to the paper and burning it and I advise you to have a bowl of water next to you just in case or do it outside because I had paper underneath which wasn't a good idea but we survived so all you want to do is take a lighter to it you want to do small sections at a time and make sure the fire is completely out before you start on your next section I love the way this one came out Now for the second DIY, I purchased these little bags from Dollar Tree that contain five of these wooden witch hats and they have all different kinds. They have pumpkins and ghosts. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to go ahead and paint them using black chalk paint. We're going to use an acrylic brush to apply the paint. And here my four-year-old wanted to help me, so here she is helping me paint. Okay, so now they're here dried. I'm going to use a stencil with the word Hocus Pocus. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint that with some white acrylic paint and using a round foam brush. Now, if you don't have vinyl, once again, I do sell it. You can just reach out to me on my Instagram page, or you can always use the same technique by printing out your word and scribbling the back with a pencil and tracing it. Now, when you do use a stencil, uh, use an up and down motion to prevent any bleeding out. If there is some bleed out, go ahead and fix that with a smaller brush and some black paint. Okay, so next step is taking some twine that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to go ahead and string them in. That's it for this DIY. For my third DIY, I purchased two books from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and remove the front covers of the books. And then using a box cutter, I'm going to go ahead and go along the back in front of the book, taking off the hardcover. Now taking some black chalk paint, I'm going to go ahead and paint the spine of the book.
Now here I printed out the word spell books. I'm going to go ahead and cut those. And then using a pencil, just scribbling the back of the paper on the word. And this is going to allow you to see what you trace on your project. You just want to trace with a pen, something sharp. Now we're going to take a really small paintbrush and some white acrylic paint and just trace over that. Now if you don't have a steady hand, Walmart and Hobby Lobby do sell paint markers. I'll go ahead and insert a picture above so you can see how it looks and it's a lot easier to use those. You want to make sure you get one with the fine tip. I'm going to go ahead and do that to, this, to the other book using the word books. Okay, now here I just ripped out a top page so it can show a full page, taking some Dollar Tree twine, wrapping it that around the books any way you like, tying it off, and that's it for the third DIY. Now, now here's a little extra one. I just picked up some white roses from the Dollar Tree and spray painted them black. Also using this uh, glitter spray that I purchased at Hobby Lobby to give them a little bit of shine and glitter. And that's it for this video. This is by far my favorite DIY that I've made. If you want to keep watching more of these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please go ahead and leave me a comment on which one of these was your favorite. Thanks guys. Bye.